This week on Cracked Signs, the characters from That 70s Show are writing about cannabis for a major media company. Hey, this is Jonathan Jerry, and you're watching Cracked Science, a show from the McGill Office for Science and Society that separates sense from nonsense on the scientific stage. As of October 17th, the recreational use of cannabis, also known as marijuana, is legal in Canada. The business of cannabis in this country is predicted to reach multiple billions of dollars a year. So interest in marketable derivatives is quite high. No pun intended. What this means for someone like me, a Canadian trying to inform the public about what is real and what isn't when it comes to the biomedical sciences, is a future spent debunking a lot of this. I have cured my cancer with cannabis. God bless the God of cannabis. We love you. Marijuana users and cannabis interest groups in Canada will be flooding the market with all sorts of health claims. So the last thing we need is for major media companies to fall under the spell and promote this hype. Which is why we need to talk about Post Media. It's a large media company responsible for the National Post, as well as a number of daily provincial newspapers like the Montreal Gazette, the Toronto Sun, the Ottawa Citizen, and the Vancouver Sun, with a combined reach of hundreds of thousands of readers. If you are one of those readers, you may have noticed a new author on cannabis-related articles since June of this year. The Growth Op. The Growth Op was launched by Post Media Network as a comprehensive source of current and credible information for industry professionals, investors, and consumers. Remember this word, credible. It's no secret that trust in journalists is not exemplary. The 2018 Edelman Trust Barometer showed that 61% of Canadians trusted journalism, up from 51% the year before. And those are solid numbers compared to other countries. But because I see the importance of traditional journalism, I'm really in the growth ops corner here, hoping that, above all else, they ensure they get the right people to write stories about pot. The growth op is described as Post Media's premier destination for readers who want to know more about the new cannabis economy. Here's an article on the growth ops website entitled Cannabis and Cancer. Here's what the research says. The lead of this article, what most people will get from the piece, is the following. The study conducted by the scientists in United States National Cancer Institute found out that in some cases, cannabis kills cancer cells and significantly helps with treatment. Putting aside the awkward grammar, let's scan through the article to see if it provides evidence for these claims. Could, may, could also prove. So far, the FDA has not approved cannabis as a valid treatment option for cancer or any other medical condition, but that may change. No ongoing clinical trials of cannabis as a treatment for cancer in humans. The only published trial, a small pilot study, could have anti-tumor effects in lung cancer cell lines, appear to kill tumor cells in a mouse models. We are still far off from knowing if cancer can be treated with cannabis-derived cannabinoids. And how does this brilliant piece of journalism end? No one has ever died from smoking too much cannabis because cannabinoid receptors, unlike opioid receptors, are not located in the areas of the brainstem that control respiration. So go for it. Smoke as much cannabis as you'd like. It appears to kill cancer cells in a mouse model. This article by The Growth Op was not published in the National Post itself, but it did make its way into the Regina Leader Post, one of Post Media's papers. And the growth op itself is a featured section on the main page of the National Post, so we can safely assume that many National Post readers may have stumbled onto this stunning headline. So who is writing this credible information on cannabis for a major Canadian media company? Are they proper journalists? The answer is, not all of them. Along with original content from post media journalists across the network, the website will include contributing content partners. And Post Media proceeds to list three such partners. One of them is a law firm with expertise in cannabis law, so I will put this one aside to focus on the other two, Green Camp and The Fresh Toast. GreenCamp.com, a cannabis-focused website, will provide content focusing on medical cannabis research and education for recreational users on cannabis. Indeed, the article we went through about cannabis killing, maybe we're not sure, don't sue us, cancer cells, came from this trusted partner, greencamp.com, specifically from Alex Tripkovich. I'm guessing he must be a medical doctor or a PhD recipient in pharmacology or molecular. I mainly write how-tos and consumption tutorials since I have the most field experience. 
with everything cannabis related. I'm in love with Amsterdam and the red light district. Feel free to email me for awesome weed muffin recipes. Are you kidding me? This is the guy who wrote about biomedical research into the cancer killing activity of cannabis compounds, the guy with the awesome weed muffin recipes, and he got published in the Regina Leader Post? Greencamp.com, a trusted partner of the Growth Op, itself a creation of Post Media. They say they pride themselves on providing thoroughly researched cannabis content. They dig through countless research studies and forums in search of objective truth. And yet, here they are, our trusted science communicators. There's Helena Miles, a cannabis user with a major in communicology and a degree in international relations. There's Luka Petrovic, a cannabis user who loves watching stoner TV. And there's Marco Medic, a fanatic weed lover who enjoys chilling with his friends and discussing conspiracy theories. Oh my god, they hired Hyde and Kelso. No, it's a car. Only you put water in the gas tank instead of gas. <laughs> And it runs on water, man! <laughs> Green Camp has published articles about cannabis and autism, featuring an entire section dedicated to comments from Reddit, about cannabis and diabetes, with strain recommendations for diabetic patients, and about cannabis and cancer, including the howler that some sources suggest that artificial sweeteners and genetically modified foods can also be responsible for cancer creation. The third trusted partner of the Growth Op is The Fresh Toast, a cannabis-focused lifestyle and entertainment platform. So obviously, given the light-hearted nature of their angle, they wouldn't possibly write about, oh, for goodness' sake. In case you're wondering, the author has a bachelor's degree in integrated marketing communications with a minor in sociology. And it was published in the National Post. It mentions that there is one study in rats with a spinal cord injury that shows they could move better after taking a component of cannabis. But only eight rats got the cannabis component. Eight. This is not worth a mention in the media. This is exploratory research that will most likely not pan out. What all of this represents is a major media company promoting hyped up, scientifically inaccurate content on major medical issues written by unqualified potheads who decided to wade through the scientific literature and interpret it for Canadians, a feat that even expert scientists and medical doctors find challenging. This is not journalism. This is certainly not due diligence. This is sloppy, lazy, and shameful. And this misinformation has the potential to harm individuals. The Growth Op does not have to partner with these websites. It can instead choose to partner exclusively with reputable journalists and scientific experts. We can change the situation. We've done it before. Social media can be a powerful force for good. So join us on Twitter to tell Post Media to be better. Seriously, people, be better. In fact, hashtag do be better, D-O-O-B-I-E. Make sure to tag in at PostMediaNet and at The Growth Op. And if you prefer email, you can share your concerns to mhanderson at postmedia.com. A tip of the hat to a retired physician who shared the story with us. We all need to be vigilant when it comes to cannabis reporting. None of us wants to be duped by dope, especially not by our homegrown media. My recommendation this week is a very short summary of the evidence behind medicinal cannabis. It was written by Akshat Rati for Quartz and is called An Analysis of 10,000 Scientific Studies on Marijuana Concretely Supports Only Three Medical Benefits. It goes on to list the benefits and risks of cannabis according to the strength of the evidence and is a very handy guide when trying to cut through the smoke of marijuana hype. Link in the description below. If you're in the greater Montreal area, we have a two-day science symposium coming up next week with expert speakers on the theme of technology, including artificial intelligence. If you can't make it, it will be streamed live. Check out our website for more info, mcgill.ca slash OSS. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, do click that button and ring that bell. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter at Cracked Science and join us next time for science that may or may not be all it's cracked up to be. And remember, hashtag do be better.